What's up, YouTubers? This is your boy, Big Match Red Fan 12, coming to you with another video game review. And this time I'm reviewing the game Tongue of a Fat Man, which was originally released on the uh, PC by Action Vision. Then it was um, later ported to the um, Commodore 64 and Sega Genesis, but the title has been um, renamed to um, Mongo's Fight Palace for the um, Commodore 64 and Slaughter for the um, Sega Genesis. Now, I'll be honest with you. The, um, the title, Tongue of a Fat Man, is pretty much the worst name for a video game ever. This is pretty much a fighting game, but I don't care what uh, genre I gave you a part of this title to, it still comes out bad. And the um the cover art is pretty bad is pretty bad as well. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's kinda like it has somebody's like um it has like somebody's like uh jaw in it, uh, with some eyes and nose painted on it. If you've seen it you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I wanna be honest with you. I uh, I'll talk about it in a minute. Now the plot of the game is that this fat guy named Mondu has set up a fighting tournament with mutants just just for his own amusement, for his enjoyment. And, and matter of fact, I don't think there's uh, any incentive for any other mutants to even be in this tournament. You know what I'm saying? So, from Marvel's standpoint, the the premise of the game is just as stupid as the uh, title. You know what I'm saying? Now, speaking of the title and the cover art um, of this game, let that set the tone for you in terms of how the game is. If you happen to come across it, whether on an emulator or, or a physical copy, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like um, a lot of the, the um, playable characters that you can use, I don't know the name of them, name of them. But at the same time, I don't want to know the name of these uh, characters because the um, they're outright boring, and you don't want to care about anything, any to, any other moves that they do. You know what I'm saying? Now, pretty much gameplay wise and control wise, it works like any other fighting game that has been released. Whether you're talking about say Street Fighter or the Mortal Kombat franchise or whatever the case but it it really don't matter because the, the truth of the matter is is that um the patrols and the gameplay is just outright broken beyond belief to the point that it, it's even worse than Shaq Fu in that regard, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I can't believe I'm even saying that, you know what I'm saying? Plus, in the game you can win money after you win every match that you're in, but to be truthful, it really don't matter because because of the fact that a like I mentioned a few a minute ago, the, the um, controls are broken, the um the, your opponents are unforgiving, and number three, the um, items that you can buy are uh, are pretty much expensive, so you have to. I don't know, you have to probably have to beat it, um, beat the game probably five or six times to to, to really get everything that you that that's um really good. If if they're good at all, you know what I'm saying? No, um as far as the um graphics and level design, it is just outright ugly and, and the and the uh, p color palettes and levels, the, the color palettes and sprites don't even help at all, you know what I'm saying? And the fact of the matter is, it hasn't been, um, the, the, the graphics just honestly haven't aged well since it was released, you know what I'm saying? Because they're so butt ugly, you know what I'm saying? And I did mention the, um, how broken the, the controls and, and gameplay are. It's kind of like, it's pretty much just outright unresponsive, even more responsive, unresponsive rather than Shaq Fu, you know what I'm saying? 
and because and not only that, the hit detection it is pretty much the worst hit detection that I've seen in a um, game period, let alone a fighting game. Um, as far as the soundtrack, um, as far as the soundtrack is is concerned, it's just playing sucks. It's pretty and it's pretty unforgettable at that. You know what I'm saying? So um, this game has no redeeming qualities to it at all. I can say that this game, to me, this game managed to be worse than. Superman 64, and that's and that's really saying something from the standpoint that um, Superman 64 got a boatload of glitches, and the fact that the controls are broken in that game, and you got to deal with those final rings too. You know what I'm saying? Plus, Superman 64 has not been awful for 20 years yet. So, I mean, why is that like somewhat significant? Talking about Fat Man is is older than uh, uh Superman sixty four by like ten years, so it, it still managed to be worse than Superman sixty four, you know what I'm saying? Uh as far as recommending it is concerned. Uh no, I'm not going to do that at all. Unless you unless you wanna be <sighs> What <laughs> I'm just not recommending this game at all because it's so, it's so bad, bad and frustrating. You know, it's just like probably one of the worst games. Period. I guess the only reason why nobody like really mentions this game as one of the worst games of all time because it's so like poorly and it's and. And people pretty much have forgotten about it, you know what I'm saying? So, um, as far as the score is concerned, I give this game a big fat zero out of ten. Because it's seriously that bad, and it has no type of redeeming qualities whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? This pass by this game, seriously... There's better games for you to play than this just outright turd fast. You know what I'm saying? Shoot, man, I'd rather, shoot, I'd rather play S Superman 64 than this, than this mess. You know, with that being said, if you play this, this travesty of a game, you can... You can mention how frustrating it was for you in the comment section. If you like my review of a ton of a fat man, of the fat man rather, you can click the thumbs up button. Don't hesitate to do that, and don't forget to, to subscribe. This is your boy Big Metro Fan Twelve signing off.